Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and today's of which is on the Trade Federation MTT from 2000. <coughs> so on the front of the booklet, let's see, Lego logo, set number 7184, and also the border that's kind of like the 2000, or like the 1999 border, just without system, of course, which they, of course, carried on until... Uh, the following year, 2001, obviously. And also, episode 1 version of the logo, of course. And picture of the set on the field of Naboo. And also, a little snippet of the droids coming out and the name of it, of course. If you look at the far back, at the back part of it, this is just the final building step. And, of course, snippets, snippet of the movie, which... They didn't do in, at the time of 99, but the following year did do so. Also, a little comic strip of it. In action. And also, some more of that. And also a few numbers of which tied with these alternate builds, which they, of course, did a lot with these older sets. And then have that again. I'm like, what? A large mech built out of an MTT. Quite cool. And uh, some large thing also made, or a submarine also made from an MTT. Also cool. And, and hey, even provide very few building steps on how to build that. Like they went above and beyond with the alternate builds. And on the back is a picture of it broken up and also the two alternate builds again. And to the only kind of mini thing here in this, or actually one of a bunch of which, is so all you get in this set are just seven generic battle droids, of which same as from 1999, but also same as it's as they've always been, just same as they've been for 20 long years, no changes whatsoever. But besides that, great for army building, but. Only seven included in this one, but whereas in other versions did include more. And so on to the MTT itself. Oh, it's a kind of alright version, at least quite more blocky and not as much good as the later versions, whereas the 2007 version did have a lot going for it. Unlike the 2014 version, which kind of missed it, obviously. As for the front area, which has one of the cockpit pieces in opaque brown coloring and the regular space blaster sticking out, of course, and the like original X Wings uh, little cylinder pieces in there, of course. And these upper wall part we can pull down and of course and there's a bit of an interior like a single seat to fit your pilot empty pilot bow droid into and also a little a printed slope as a control panel and also clear brick of which acting as a windshield mold, of course oops sometimes it kind of breaks apart easily which is kind of expected of older sets. Or maybe it's just me since I got this used off Bricklink. But as I look further on, now, and also as for the front part, which has a lot of the jagged slopes, which most older Star Wars sets used, attended to have, and also the uh, cockpit piece, or windshield piece, which a lot of older TIE Fighter sets attended to have, but it's in solid, opaque, uh, brown. Also seen, but I'll show the feature a little later. And as for the back part of which, there's a lot more of jagged slopes and brown. And some more of that as well. And have regular green just bleeding in it. 
wish it should be brown or at least black. Kind of fit in with the color scheme more. It has the back part of which a couple of like regular uh, rods and all, and also arms from older set, older space lines, of course. It can tilt it up and you can see there's a good bit of an interior for other things, so quite vacant, obviously. And look from the bottom is a lot of those like rounded dish pieces, pieces which makes it kind of swoosh around your surface a little bit. But whereas with the 2014 version, in, which had clear wheels underneath, so one of the features of this also, oh, also you can like fold these back things up and rotate to a couple little, little blasters right out, of course, kind of cool. And now to the main feature, which, where you can take this tile right off and detach it, and then, of which, open it right up. Just insane, that is. Of which, so my good guess, my theory is, this is what probably got some inspiration for uh, the Republic gunship set in 2002, where it, the front part of it opened up. Obviously, like that, which other versions of this did not ever do that. But besides that, as for these open areas, same exact kind of printed slope pieces, but other uses, and also some antenna pieces in translucent orange for whatever reason. And now to close it up, is see the red bricks there, which align with these. Uh, ones as well. You attach them to it and put the tile on top. There. And for the actual main feature being is where you can fold this up and pull this thing right out, which the uh, Baldroid carrier set also did include, but also had random green to it. But at least this which is to make sure it does that, which on the far back part of it should have been the other color, of course. And you get six of the bow droids hanging on to it, and also along with megaphone blasters, which they always used until around 2007. Well, or, uh, well, six or seven. Yeah, seven. When they went over to regular blasters that they use today. But unlike with other versions of the MTT, where you can like turn something and it comes out automatically, of course. But don't worry, I can forgive this one for that. And so now on to the final verdict. Overall, this I think a pretty good set from 2000. A kind of alright version of the MTT, even though. The later versions did do quite a good bit better than this one. Even though the 2007 version, uh, worth a lot secondhand, and same with the 2014 version. Well, who knows if there will ever be yet another version of this, like both this and Blue Clone Wars version. Well, hopefully this version gets another remake, because that would be cool. So, if you're watching this Lego, redo this set. It would be very nice. As well, both this and blue versions, of course, obviously. Because if they did remake it now, it would be just good for those who missed out on it, obviously. And also, they're, of course, good for army building with of where it's getting more battle droids for your armies and of course see multiples of this of these and also MTTs or AATs obviously. Good for your Naboo battle mock of course. So if you still have this set from back then, well I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, then I'd say truly go ahead and get it. eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it for this video. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.